Hi guys, I'm here today with a very modern, flexible, versatile Boroscope. It's from Tesla, one of the best brands I've ever seen in this regard. I've been using already a couple of their devices. They work absolutely flawless and I've already been using some Boroscope. They have been working also very good, but there was always one thing I've been missing and that's uh, like an angle where you could point the camera to a side and this is what we have here. So here we have a two-way articulating boroscope with light, good camera, good settings, pretty much everything what we can expect these days from a very advanced high quality boroscope. So I'm going to take it out of the box, show you what you get and how to use it. And so here we have the box again, here the model type and some more detailed description in the back. We have very high resolution 1080p large screen Large battery for long run time includes even 32 gigabytes SD card and we have a maximum angle of 210 degrees, more than 180 degrees. So let's open the box, see what we get and everything comes in this really nice transportation and storage case. That's also something which is really helpful and now so here we have it, large modern clean device. Comes even with a modern USB-C charging cable. On the right side, a lot of information about warranty, even cleaning wipe and the full instructions manual, which explains everything in detail. But it's actually not very difficult to use. By the way, the device, or at least the probe, of course, is waterproof, but we do not get any additional accessories. So there are no magnets, no hooks, no nothing. So this is perfect for inspection, but if you need to retrieve something, you need some other device. And so here on the left side, we have these ports nicely protected with this flap. And so we plug it in. We can see it's nicely charging. I've seen that the charge is up to 1 amp, so it's a 3000 milliamps battery, can take up to around 3 hours for a full charge, and then we can work with it for a full 4 hours. Apart from the charging port, we have also a reset, and we have the TF card, which is already inserted, 32 gigabytes, but you can also upgrade this to 64 gigabytes. So we close this nicely to make it waterproof, but again, just the camera is really waterproof. In the back we have the shutter release button. The gooseneck is also very good quality. You can see we can easily bend it and usually it stays, I would say, at least in a 90 degrees angle. This is what we need. And here we have the on-off buttons. We have to long press to turn it on. Comes also with a screen protector. Of course, now important to remove the camera protection. And so we see also the light. Yeah, we definitely have really good, strong light. We have the light control here on the right side. We have three different levels and we can even totally turn it off if needed. We have three different modes with the M. Here we are in the camera mode. So we can use the shutter release button here in the back to shoot an image like that gives us even a feedback, then we can change with the M in the video mode. Can also start this with the shutter release button to record. We can see the time, can stop it also there in the back. And after that we can go with the mode into the playback mode. So we can go up and down through the different footage. And if we want to play a video, we click on the OK. And we do not only have a camera, we have also a microphone and built-in speaker. So when I play this here, you can hear that. By the way, the microphone is not at the camera. The microphone, as far as I can see, is here on the left side of the monitor. And for the different functions in the playback, we click on the settings. Here we have all the technical information about the footage and we can also delete one or even all of them. To go back, we hit the setting again. In the live monitoring, we have even a zooming function. We can go to 1.3x, 1.5x, and then back to normal view. And now, of course, the absolute highlight, the thing which you have been waiting for, that's the articulation control. We have it right here on the thumb, and you can see, you can point it down. Yeah, it's really nice how far we can go down here and then up and to the side where I am with my camera here. 
the camera angle is 70 degrees so for example if you want to see this 90 degrees angle here of this box you have to move a little bit away when you're fully close you can't see everything so i would say the 70 degrees angle seems to be about really accurate and so i've been outside checking the drainage pipe and in the kitchen the incinerator and both worked really good the light was working really good and of course especially the articulation mode and so i've recorded a lot of footage to see the footage again we have the possibility to go into the viewing mode where we already are with the m but we have also two more options we can take out the micro sd card put it into a reader or directly into a laptop and we have a reader or we can connect the usb port to a computer or a laptop and then see the footage or copy store it share it whatever you want to do so in this case because i have a little bit more footage i've decided to take out the micro sd card now i push it here into the reader has also the advantage that i can charge the device while i'm using the computer but as you can see we can also charge and use it at the same time and the micro sd card is very simple organized we have a photo and we have a video folder in the photo folder we have all the images and in the video folder we have all the videos of course and so here we are you can see I'm going down into the drainage so i post this here you can see really good quality good colors good illumination and then so here i'm pointing to both of the sides to see everything of course that was a little bit too fast but you can see also here really good sharpness so i'm going manually i'm not going to play the video i'm going manually back and forth here you can see good inside there are quite some leaves here inside but no problem no large animals hiding i think needs just a little bit of cleaning maybe stronger flushing yeah there is a little bit of mirroring on the screen but you can see the camera has actually done a really good job i mean here also when i have it outside you can see how nicely this thing is recording so not only down there but also outside yeah really good quality i really love it then also here in the incinerator but of course i stop this here i don't want to go too close could be a little bit too sensitive for some people but i've been able to see everything what i wanted also made a little bit of a waterproof test here you can see went directly under the water of course it's then a little bit blurred but after that you can just shake off the water a little bit and you have everything nice and clear so i can definitely confirm that it's waterproof so it worked really as expected absolutely awesome easy to use good quality of the build i would say easy to operate and also really good footage quality love this articulating mode this definitely brings inspection possibilities to a next level and so if you're in the need of something advanced so i can highly recommend it and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and already try from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time